been raining most of the afternoon. It stopped at the moment, but on and off showers expected. Again, Jim Nance and Phil Sims back here at Gillette Stadium. You love this kind of weather. This is a day that quarterbacks really enjoy. Moisture in the air, no wind out there at all. These two quarterbacks, hot offenses, they couldn't ask for anything right now better than this. Well, the Broncos have won the toss, and they want the football. There it is, 54, and the breezes are down. There's Omar Bolden, rookie out of Arizona State. As Gostowski sends it his way, three yards deep. And Bolden hit by the first man, Arrington, and tackled at the 16. Peyton Manning last week, 30 of 38, 338 yards. Three touchdowns, no picks in the route of the Raiders. His line, and this is a fascinating sub-story, Dan Colton gets his first start as a Bronco, the longtime Patriot Center. Nine years here in New England. And Demarius Thomas, always a dangerous threat. Look at the Broncos coming out with an empty backfield on the first snap of the game. Two tight ends, three wide receivers. Pass across the middle, and through the fingertips of Thomas. This New England defense for six turnovers in the victory over Buffalo last week, and they had four picks and two fumble recoveries. Chandler Jones, the standout rookie. Meanwhile, Hightower, the other rookie first-rounder, is out, inactive, with a hamstring. There's a rookie subbing in today as a starter for Steve Gregory. Tavon Wilson, pass complete over to Tammy, and... Jacob Tammy pushed out of bounds by Brandon Spikes, and we've been now with the Broncos three consecutive weeks, and you've seen Peyton get better by the quarter. Well, I've seen him get better physically on the field, but I've also seen his spirits get higher each week we've seen him because he knows he's getting back into the flow of the game, getting the feel of how this works, and, and I think he's playing extremely well. The 11-yard completion gives him a new set of downs, and Thomas joins him in the backfield. Going to get the little pass. Really well covered over there by the Patriots, including Mayo. Well, Jim, you said it, two tight ends, three wide receivers by this offense. A nice little wrinkle. They were hoping to catch the Patriots really off guard with this. But the Patriots, hard to fool this defense. They don't do a lot. They really just stand there and they play their techniques and wait for you to come in their area and make the tackle. Copeland snaps it back, shotgun. This is over to Dreesen, the other tight end. We've seen Tammy catch one, Dreesen catch one, and for the first time in uniform this season, Virgil Green will be seeing him today, number 85, another tight end for the Broncos. Now they'll bring in a running back. One of the reasons why they wanted to do this stuff was to let the Patriots go down the field to cover receivers and throw it short and to the outside. We've seen three of those types of passes already. It's third and five. They've had four plays, four pass plays so far. And Manning slides to his right. He's going to take off for it. Look at Manning run for the first with room to spare. Hey, you and I, we laugh about it, but we're serious. He is moving uh, around in the pocket and out of the pocket more this year than I think I've seen him in his whole career. Uh, we saw quite a bit two weeks ago. And you look at the running lane they're giving him, the defensive lineman, even with Peyton Manning, you must stay in your lanes, make him stand in that pocket and try to push inside out. And another first down. Ten yard scramble by Manning. He goes across the middle again to Tammy for a gain of five and wrestled right to the turf by Mayo. Well, everybody talking about this quarterback matchup. How's it going to be played? Well, I think we're seeing it. Different five, this, this formation by the Broncos, and fast. I expect both offenses to try to come out and play very fast. Yeah, there's no huddle. Blitz. And the pass thrown away over the head of Tammy. That was Mayo coming in on Manning. Yeah, number 51 to Manning's right. Nobody has him. And that's a nice little change up by the Patriots. Getting ready for this different look. They played some man-to-man -man coverage to snap before. And that time they blitzed. So they're adjusting.
to the five. I guess you want to say five wide receiver look already. Yeah, Belichick taking notes on third and five. Again, empty the backfield, although Lance Ball's going to shift back to flank the quarterback. That tells you it's not man to man. Sterling Moore. Well, it's a great job. They caught him all looking underneath. The safeties were aggressive. They come up. But what a play by Moore down the field. Personal foul, maybe, on that block. Well, Thomas with his third loss fumble in the last three games. Remember last week he was racing down the field with the football against the Raiders and tried to shift hands in that case and coughed it up. You know, it's almost like the Broncos and Peyton Manning knew that formation that they were going to be aggressive to it because he looked at that defense and immediately went over the top. Gene Steratore. The football belongs to the Patriots. Marius Thomas, 43-yard reception, then the ball knocked loose by Moore, and he made the recovery, and the flag was picked up. Yeah, it was a good pickup by the flag by the officials. Brady and the Patriots with their first snap. Gronkowski lining up next to Tom. Now they'll shift him out. Gronkowski has the catch and able to set up the first hit. Adams and bumps him out of bounds. Gain of 12. Jim, let's look real quick. Here comes the safety to watch Brandon Stokely. Nobody over the top. That's what Peyton Manning reads. This is some read. And a nice route by Demarius Thomas. Here's a handoff to Woodhead. And get him five. Tom Brady, when they met the Broncos in the divisional round back in January, he threw six touchdowns against Denver. Second and five. Walker immediately on him is Raheem Moore. And a loss of three. Now, when you watch this Broncos defense, they think they can match up against this Patriots offense. They do have the cover guys and the speed to do it, and they have two safeties, four and Adams, aggressive and talented. Good example of that last tackle. Third and eight. Brady with Heat gets it away, and... The Broncos allow one first down on the first play, the pass to Gronkowski, then they buckle down and force the punt. Yeah, big key today. It's, uh, well, the plenty of time to throw at Tom Brady when he steps up. That's what creates the pressure. Nobody open immediately. Mitch Unrine on the hit, but just nice coverage by the Broncos defensive backs. Zoltan Mesco. Hit the punter. 43 yard punt. Danny Trevathan. On a fourth and eight, made contact, I believe. Yeah, contact, five yard penalty. Do you want the punt? Take the penalty, punt it again, or march it off? It's going to. Five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the kick. First down, Denver. Timeout. Here is. It still will belong to the Broncos when we return. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Verizon. Whatever you want to do, Droid does. And by Bud Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Here we go. 
You can get live score updates for all of your favorite teams with the new CBS Sportcaster app available on select devices. Visit cbsports.com slash mobile or text SCORE to 42777 to get the free app. Here's the tail of the tape. This is meeting number 13. In fact, Tom's first ever start was against Peyton's Colts team back in 2001. Got an update. Let's send you back to James Brown in New York. India trailed 21-3 at the half, boom. What a game here. This is Reggie Wayne, four-yard touchdown pass. That was a touchdown. He reaches the ball and breaks the plane to the goal line. Donald Brown, two-yard conversion, two-point conversion, excuse me. Go up by three over Green Bay. Green Bay is driving and will attempt a game win, a game tying field goal with eight seconds left. Indy fighting hard for Chuck Pagano. Jim Nance, Phil Sims. How about that? Andrew Luck with 362 yards passing and incredible performance today by Reggie Wayne. Oh, over 200 yards. Reggie Wayne showing he can get open no matter who the quarterback is, that's for sure. The Patriots declined that penalty on running into the punter. Satisfied with the 43-yard Mesco punt. And the drive begins at the 27, and McGahee has met in the backfield by Spikes for a loss of four. They ran eight plays the first time they had it with no designed runs. Well, they got up in the gap. Spikes, he is such a terrific run player. When you watch him, it's smart, able to diagnose plays, but the biggest thing, he is one big hitter. Jim, you know it, last week, hits caused two fumbles. Yeah, game changers last week against the Bills. Spikes forcing those two fumbles. On second and 14, open man, and it's McGahee. Not open for long, because coming up with the stick is Harrington. Holds him to four. Well, just that run tells you why the Denver Broncos came out with their little package of two tight ends, three wide receivers. Why try to line up and think you are going to go straight ahead and run against this big front seven of New England? They are built up front to stop the run. Third and ten. This, this package here, this is new to Peyton Manning. All these receivers bunched together to one side, and it's worked really well for the Denver Broncos so far this year. on his back brings him down but not until it's a first a pickup of 15 well we heard this a lot getting him ready for this game the end cuts coming for the right side of Peyton Manning boy it's a nice look around look off where is Peyton Manning gonna throw the ball the Patriots say inside it's a lot of inside routes in cuts we got to make him throw it outside the numbers to these receivers Nice route by Thomas that time. Thomas with three catches for 59 yards, but a costly fumble. On first down, it's McGahee. Just a yard right into the arms of Kyle Love, who's emerging as a difference maker on that defensive front for New England. Well, there's some big men inside for the this New England defense. When you talk about Kyle Love, who Dan Copeland, the center, talked about how much he's improved, and Vince Wilfork, who's just one of the all-time great run players from the defensive line position in the NFL. Second down and nine, Matthew Willison is a receiver. It's Tammy and shoved out by Moore. Was the field goal good in that Green Bay game? Let's go back to New York. A 51-yard attempt to tie it up, boom. Here you go, Jim and Phil. He shanks it a little bit to the left. And Indianapolis goes on to beat Green Bay in the upset of the day, 30-27. The mantra was Chuck Strong. Of course, Jim will elaborate on that. They win at Indy. Jim and Phil. Wow, that was a, a big yank. And what a win for the Colts and all that emotion with Coach, Coach Chuck Pagano. Third down, third and five. Flags are down, and so is Manning. Mayo got to him first, Nikovic second, but we'll check the flag. Offense number 78 was not on the line of scrimmage. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. Quick pressure from the outside and inside. How about that by Gerard Mayo coming right up the middle. Not going to let Peyton Manning just sit back there and read the defense and pick you apart. Britton Colquitt, who did not have to punt last week. 
comes out here in the first quarter. Wes Welker is back deep. Julian Edelman is inactive because of a hand injury, so Welker will handle the punt returning chores. And he takes it at the 11, ducks under the first tackle, and Bolden then rides out with him at about the 17. Approaching the midway point, quarter number one. Brady ready for his second series. No score here at New England. Cancer awareness, you're seeing pink all over the NFL sites, as you will through the month. Join the NFL and the American Cancer Society in the fight against breast cancer by supporting a crucial catch campaign. Visit NFL.com slash auction and bid on authentic NFL pink gear worn by players and coaches. And there is the Patriots chairman and CEO, Robert Kraft, presenting a check here before the game today. Congratulations to Mr. Kraft. The first time nominee announced this week for the Hall of Fame, one of the 127 making the list. NFL.com, again, for all those auction items that you can bid on. Richard Branson sitting alongside the owner here today as the second series for Manning, or for Brady and the Patriots, again starts inside their own 20. Ridley shifted wide over here to the left. That's Walker. Walker still on his feet. Picks up 14 out to the 30. He was able to somehow get away from Mays and Miller who collided into one another. And then someone's down here for Denver. Yeah, Wes Welker against the linebacker. That's Vaughn Miller trying to run with him. That's why Tom Brady threw the football. It's Joe Mays who missed last week's game after uh, being suspended one game for a hit on Matt Schaub in Houston a week before that. We'll be right back. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Here Comes the Boom in theaters October 12th. And by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. Aerial coverage of today's game provided by DirecTV. Looking down at Gillette Stadium, which has been sold out for every home game since it opened back in 2002. Mays was able to walk off the field under his own power, so Bateman took his place in the linebacking four. And that's a nice burst up the middle. That's Trevathan in back 59 who made the hit after a seven-yard run by Ridley. Mays looks ready to get back out there. Wesley Woodyard getting up really limping after that play, too. Another linebacker. And it's back to Ridley, and he scoots for the first. Yeah, Woodyard's still limping around there, Phil. Yes, he is, and they, either he needs to get out and get an injury timeout or try to get out of the game. But Tom Brady, when he's under center, look out. It's a lot of quick runs. Here we go. After a five-yard pickup, Ridley, third straight carry, this time for three. Stephen Ridley over 100 last week, as was Brandon Bolden, the rookie out of Ole Miss. You know, Stephen Ridley, what a difference a year makes. He knows what to do now. So aggressive running the football. Hits the line of scrimmage as hard as any running back in the league. That's that's why he's starting and why he's done well. Here he is to the near side, emptying out the backfield. No Hernandez again today for the Patriots, although he was back to practice this week. Inactive again with that ankle sprain. And has a first down to the Denver side of the field at the 45. Well, that was a quick read by Tom Brady. Here comes the blitz. Wes Welker changes the route. I can't draw fast enough. But a good change of pace by the Broncos defense. New England was ready. Yeah, gain of nine. And Ridley. Oh, another 15 from Stephen Ridley behind Connolly. Even though you probably, the defense knows what I know. It's going to be runs. This time a little counterplay. How about Dan Connolly's block? And Nate Solder, left tackle, just kills this guy. And that's Ridley. Boy, are they operating at a fast rate right now. Three more for Ridley. It was about twice as fast in practice Friday, Jim. We were actually laughing, going, are you sure the offense is not out of gas? Of course, calling the plays, too, is Josh McDaniels, the former Denver head coach. Yeah, that was interesting talking to him about this. This is his first experience with this really big-time hurry-up. Can he call the plays fast enough yeah, for Tom Brady? We talked to him about that, how you have to really be ahead of it by one play. Joe Mays is back on the field. Let's look here. Second down at seven. Right there for the fourth time. And another first down. 
Tom Brady knows it's probably going to be a blitz just by the defensive alignment. Five guys coming. That means man-to-man -man against two. The best under now, underneath route runner hey, there is it. in Wes Welker. Hard to cover him in tight spaces because hey, he's small, no extremely break. quick, and can change break. direction break. faster than the guy covering him. Hey, Brandon Up Bolden, we, we just mentioned him. Here he is in the game for the first time. Gets the handle. And Bolden has a little chunky yardage coming off 137 yards against the Bills. That one was good for five. Power running, which they're doing better this year, just lining up and hitting you in the face and getting Wes Welker involved again. Keys to this offense. That's Bolden to the right side, dragged down. Dragged down by Vaughn Miller. Yeah, you got to be careful jumping outside against this defense. We said it, they're fast. Vaughn Miller, of course, Maybe one of the fastest outside linebackers in the NFL. I think if you want to have success, power inside. That's one way to slow him down and send him back to a huddle. This is the 11th play of the drive coming up. Third down and eight. Late getting lined up. the catch and the first at the eight the former Bronco Brandon wow. Lloyd what a good read by Tom Brady Wes Welker through the middle Brandon Lloyd coming underneath way to get off the first receiver find a second and that is a new element to this offense an outside receiver that you have to pay attention to more than you did in years past he's going against Champ Bailey today here in first and goal Brady to go left side and it's Walker's first touchdown of the season. That was just, that was just a lot of tempo by the Patriots. The pace they went at, they're so used to it. And the Broncos, I know they've been working on it since training camp. But this is different because it's fast-paced and there's a lot of talent that's running this offense. And Wes Welker, the pump fake by Brady, uncovers him. As he beats Chris Harris, 84-yard drive and 11 plays. With the double team number 83. Kostowski makes it 7-0. Seven, seven completions by Brady. Five of them to his favorite target, Wes Welker, and the touchdown. Tonight, Johnny Unitas, 47 consecutive games with a touchdown pass. Tonight, Breeze against San Diego, going for 48 consecutive. And there's an active streak right here. Tom Brady now, 37 consecutive games with a touchdown throw. And Bolden is advised by Leonard to take a knee. Well, Jim, let's look at that touchdown. Why did it work? Tom Brady's pump fake. Here's Chris Harris. He's going to watch the quarterback. That allows Wes Welker to come up here and give him a little dead leg and get it done. So here we are. Chris Harris looking in the backfield. Oh, never take your eyes off of Wes Welker. And he watched the pump fake. Well, Tom Brady, I said to you, Jim, during the week and watching practice in the last couple games, he is really throwing it well and off to a really good start here today. That's McGahee as they run it with Willis for the third consecutive time on first down. That one's for four. You know, you're probably saying to me, what do you mean Tom Brady's throwing it better and all this? Look, you know, throwers, numbers sometimes they are what they are, but quarterbacks go in streaks where they throw it exceptionally well. And in other times as well. That's the game he would love on him. It'll set up third and three. I mean, you're coming off the year for Brady when he did throw for over 5,000 yards. Well, I think, Jim, the big thing just going about New England's offense, they're back to what they really do well. That's involved Wes Welker, and of course, being more physical running has really worked for him. Peyton Manning in this offense, hey, look, I think they think. By going fast and, and doing this tight gives him the best chance against this New England defense, and I agree. And they don't want to send that Denver defense right back out there again, and they're able to move the chains. 
And a little toss over to McGay. He ridden out by Arrington. Gain of nine and a first. Here's going to illustrate really close why they're throwing the ball so well. Watch the hit of the defenders. And by trying to touch defenders, it allows that little bit of space for the guys in the flat to get open. And that's what Peyton Manning is kind of counting on today. The New England started. Be physical with the receivers. Hit them. Disrupt the routes. Down the field and snagged by Thomas. What a one-handed grab by Demarius Thomas. Well, that'll get him back into good graces with the quarterback, won't it? Yes, it will. Good for 30. It's a little, little short route and go. They like to run that receiver there about five yards and across the field. He faked it, went up the sideline. I honestly thought Peyton Manning was throwing the football away. Thomas has 89 yards on four catches in this opening quarter. And they bring in Ronnie Hillman, rookie running back out of San Diego State for the first time. They give it to him. And Hillman with a nice little burst that Peyton Manning talked to us about in our meetings with him this week. How much uh, they're enjoying the... Oh, yeah. Progress with this rookie. Yeah, and you know, now you understand. Spread this defense out. Why? Because they're big. So when you spread them out, it gives you a little more space. Hillman took advantage of it on that last run. Looks like a run again. Second and two it is, Phil. And it's Hillman. As they try to push the pile. And hold them back. Just short of it. Yeah, he hesitated a little bit that time. Hillman did. Look at them just right up the middle go. All that hesitation probably cost him a few yards, but he still did the good thing. Bury your head, get that extra yard. Chris Gronkowski comes in at fullback for the Broncos. First time ever that Chris and his brother, Bob, have been on the field playing in the same game in the NFL. Yeah, they played in a thousand games in the basement. Hit each other. That's for sure. They may see each other on some kickoff situations, but a timeout is going to be called here by Peyton on a third and one with five seconds to go in the first quarter. And the Broncos driving, but a crucial third down snap coming up after the break. Well, it was a good timeout by the Broncos. Watch, they're trying to get up, get a certain look. Peyton Manning sees the play clock, rushing them through it, but there's not time to check off to the perfect run. So, of course, don't waste this opportunity. Call the timeout. And if they're just a little short here, I would expect them again to go for it on fourth down, too. Peyton is 10 out of 12 in this game. It's 40 of 50 the last two weeks, and they go McGahee. And it looks like they're rolling it down. No fumble. In fact, may mark it for contact. a first. It's Tavon Wilson. First down. hopeful racing down with it. It is a first down. No fumble. First down when the second quarter commences in a moment. Coach Belichick threw out the red challenge flag, not challenging whether it was a fumble, challenging the spot. Yeah, I thought he might challenge it. Left knees down. Where's the football? It's definitely over. I thought it was right around the 24-yard line, so that's about where the 24-yard line is. The official marker is right in front. There it is. It's going to be a tough one to overrule. Is that short of the first down marker, which is just inside the 24-yard line, I think, Jim? It's really fractions. I don't see how you have the, the evidence, though, to overturn the ruling on the field. There it is there. That's a really nice job by Willis McGahee, understanding the situation. Also, really terrific job by... Mayo looked like he was going to get it easy, and he just out of nowhere, boom, he's in the, the hole and makes the tackle. Look at this veteran play by McGahee. There's the knee. Yep. You know, too, the yard marker has, it's the official marker is not there anymore. They've already moved it down on the they change of quarters. It. Yep. So again, the yellow line here is unofficial. 
Kind of hard to draw any conclusions from an end zone camera anyway. Well, just with remember, that line. Yeah, you remember when they do it, it's got to be, you know, of course we know that it's got to be conclusive, but you've got to have marks on the field that you can really identify. I did not see any. During the commercial break, New England had challenged the ruling on the field when the runner was down by contact as it relates to a first down. After review, the ruling on the field stands. It will be first down, Denver. Wow, that was well said. Second time on this drive, McGay, he has converted on third down. One by reception, one by rush. Wednesday on Survivor, shifting alliances and a devious scheme leave the tribes in turmoil. Don't miss an all-new Survivor Wednesday. Only CBS. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, and the CBS crew here. Produced by Lance Farrell, directed by Mike Arnold. Getting the second quarter started here at Gillette Stadium. Patriots up 7-0 on a Brady to Welker touchdown pass. And that's deflected by Chandler Jones, the rookie first rounder out of Syracuse. Uh, the favorite play of Peyton Manning. Go down the middle to the tight end. That was pretty tight, but they had a nice outlet to his right side, Chandler Jones. Pretty good impression for a rookie, right, Jim? Him? Unbelievable. Hightower, who's yeah. out. Wilson, all living up to the draft status. He brought a lot of speed to this defense. Second down and 10. And McGay, he is wrapped up after four. Tracy White in there. Tracy White is another big, fast linebacker. I'll tell you, it's not a big drop-off when he subs for any of the starting linebackers. Played very well, well last week when he came in for Hightower against Buffalo. Well, and again, getting the start today with Hightower down. They go with their dime package here. Taking White out. Five receivers. Third and six. Manning to the end zone. Looking for Decker, and there's a flag thrown. Going to be on McCourty. Well, New England all over the call. They really got two guys taking the inside receivers. But Peyton Manning, which we see in this league now. Pass interference. Defense. Number 32. Foul occurred in the end zone. By rule, the ball will be placed on the one-yard line. First and goal. Goes down. Coming back up. Just give the receiver a chance. That's what he does. And McCourty never looking for the football. It's not like Peyton Manning could sit back there and read a bunch of the stuff that's going on because that pocket is closing in pretty fast. First and goal to go. Take to McGahey. Look to the end zone. Open man. It's Joel Dreesen with a touchdown. That's a national pass. Everybody runs it. Put somebody in the flat, tight end over the top. 81, look at him, gets bumped. But hard to cover this, especially first down, that close to the goal line. You got to be playing run. Good call by Mike McCoy, keeping that defense off balance. Yeah, and after that 19-yard pass interference penalty on a third and six, the Broncos respond to New England's touchdown with one of their own. Prater ties it at seven. One touchdown pass by Brady, and now one by Manning to tie the game the start of the second quarter. Pretty good start by these quarterbacks. I'm sitting here thinking, well, seven to seven. Did the floodgates open up, Jim? Now you've got to, everybody's got a good feel for how the game is going to be played. We'll see which defense can actually make some plays to get the other offense off the field. Well, no huddle on both sides. It's Gronkowski. A good tackle on him by Mike Adams for no game. Breath, breath, breathtaking pace here. But, you know, Bill Cowher talks a lot about the no huddle offense. And I believe to be a really good offense in this league now, you got to do two things. you got to have this hurry-up offense, this no huddle, and you got to have a lot of short passes. You've got to get your quarterback, everybody in rhythm. You see so many throws behind the line of scrimmage now in the league. It's taking the place of all those quick three-step 
you know, five-yard routes. Throw it short and then get some extra protection, throw it down the field. So these quarterbacks are combined 19 of 23. Make it to the line and down the field and over the head of Gronkowski, who was not 100% this week. Gronkowski with hip and back issues, and Brady on that last series had a very healthy production teaming up with Welker all the way down the field. Uh, it's the West Welker show. How about that? Week one, we saw him at wide receiver. When you put him in the slot, I, I really, it's almost impossible. They spread the field. You've got to put two to two defenders on him when the Broncos had not he's been wide open for easy completions Brady was five out of five on that touchdown drive but coming off an incompletion here it's third and ten right there, at the first. for 14 well, it's just what's he gonna do is he gonna go across the field here's a little blitz look Tom Brady all day to throw and Chris Harris needs help Chris Harris, one of the best slot defenders in the NFL. Up we go. Woodhead. Fortunate to get back to the line of scrimmage. You know, we talked about it, Jim. You, the Denver Broncos think they can play one-on-one -on -one outside. So take the extra cover guy and help out on Wes Welker. Second and ten. And Walker again takes off two hits. Oh my gosh. Picks up seven. It'll be third and three. Somehow we went under and away from Harrison Mays. I watched him the whole way. Coming from the right. That time Chris Harris is grabbing him, pulling him, beating him up. Still completes it. But they need three for the first. Seven catches for Welker. Woodhead has it. Diving out near the 50. Quarterback under the center, running back behind him. What do you look for, Jim? Run plays. Run plays. Somebody's got to pick it up. Be alert. Woodhead getting seven on a third and three. Pace is fast. Defense not keeping up with it. Ridley back in and running back. And he falls to the 45 of the Broncos. You know, let's think about it. Jack Del Rio, this pace of play, and Ridley hits the line of scrimmage, gets low. The pace of play, he's got to call in the defense. It's got to be communicated. Can you get it done fast enough? A little shift and a first down by Ridley. And the answer is probably not. So what does that do to the defense? It makes it, it disarms it. They become very simple. And it just, it's easy to call the plays. Yeah, you saw Del Rio, the defensive coordinator, long time Jacksonville head coach. And Ridley is tripped up this time after four. Yeah, you can't make any substitutions. Your defense, well, you talk about getting them tired in a hurry. Well, it, yeah, you do. And, and you get them tired. But the biggest thing is, it's hard to change your defense. So the offensive coordinator, Josh McDaniels, goes, oh, I know what they're going to do. Let's just keep the speed going. He's got Ridley down here to the near side. He's got Mays on him. Looks like a blitz. Second down. Brandon Lloyd. Ball squirted out at the end. They move him down. At the 23, second catch of the game. And this one for 15. Uh, it's a blitz. Everybody's got a guy one-on-one. -on -one. That was a nice move by Brandon Lloyd. Quick move to the outside. Champ Bailey bought it. He goes back in, and Tom Brady just drills it in there. There is some pep on the football when he's letting it go today. Like you would use the pitch in high school, Jim. Yeah, exactly. A lot of pep. That's what I was thinking. And they're going to have movement on the shoulder side. <laughs> That's what you were thinking? I like that. Of course. Remember the good old days. We worked in sync. First time. So back up the Patriots. Five and... We'll stick around at halftime for the Verizon Halftime Report. J.B., Dan, Shannon, Boomer, Coach Cower with all the latest scores and highlights coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. First and 15. Got to be with this double gap blitz. He's got to make sure it could be a bluff, but just in case, let's block it up. You got a running back and a tight end. He's 
Kowalski open in the middle of the field and running over defenders. Almost yep. ripping their helmets off. He's about two yards shy of a first. Yeah, it was just a good read by Tom Brady. Changes the play and the defenders way off. Throw it quick. The old pop pass to the big guy. Picks up 13. Second and two. Ridley. Able to find enough of an opening to pick up another first down. I remember when the Broncos played New England last year, the first thing that the New England, I mean the Bronco defense said when the game was over, that Gronkowski sure is a lot more athletic than we expected. I think everybody in the league knows that now. Big, can run, block, and catch. Now he caught three touchdowns in that divisional playoff victory over Denver, which tied an NFL playoff record. Well played so far this 13, no huddle. Coming off a 12-play touchdown drive earlier. Deion Branch in the game. On the ball the field, and the catch is made. It's Brandon Lloyd, and they're going to roll him down short of the goal line. Was he touched? No, so this is, you watch it, Bill Belichick might want to challenge it. Yes, he hits the ground. Yeah, he might have been touched, but... If he slid in the end zone before he's touched, it's a touchdown. Well, they're going to hurry up so fast. Brady loves the sneak in this situation. He's going to hand it off instead to Vereen. And Vereen is in. Second-year man out of California has the touchdown. How about that? Yeah, why challenge it when it's so close? And that hurry up. We saw this yesterday. They can line up so fast and get the plays run that there is no way you can think. Look at the Broncos. People moving around as the ball is snapped. And mentally and physically on their heels. Absolutely. This is, hey, look, I'll say this. We might as well get ready to do in games like this. This is going to become part of the NFL. It, it, it's too good, and it works too well. This is what the defense needs. <laughs> More tough situations. 14-7. Patriots. Shane Vereen, drafted in the second round a year ago, has a touchdown. NFL on CBS is sponsored by DirecTV. If you call yourself a sports fan, you got to get DirecTV. New York Life Insurance Company. And by the all-new Honda Accord. It starts with you. Coming off a 14-play drive. With Vereen scoring his second career touchdown. Brady, six out of seven on this one. After five out of five, the previous time marching down the field. <laughs> Steps into it near the goal line. He's got it across the 20. Got the corner shoving him out near the 30. Tuesday on CBS, there's a new sheriff in town and new trouble in Vegas. Don't miss TV's number one new show, Vegas, Tuesday only, CBS. You know you know who was up here in New England this offseason, don't you? Uh, Josh McDaniels told us, Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly from Henry Oregon. Ocho, he, what would you think about that last drive? He go, yeah, that was pretty good, but not quite fast enough. You know, he, he should go a little quicker. Yeah, he can relate to this. Yeah, he can. I, I'm sure that was one of the reasons why he was here. They were picking his brain about the hurry-up offense. Now Peyton coming off a touchdown drive. Can he answer right back too? Yeah, he wants the tight end to get out so he can get free release. Oh, good opening. Okay, he lowers the head, has eight. Or get the tight end out to get one less tackler in the middle. But I like this, what they're doing. Spread it, see the hole. Nice block, Dan Copen down the field. Blocks Mayo. Yeah, Zane Beatles also. Yeah, Zane Beatles. I love him at left guard. Tough, can pull, can block. Second down and two. And that's Stokely. For five and a first. Brandon Stokely, 36 year old, out of retirement. We've got Orlando Franklin on the knee. He might have been hurt on the previous play, the right tackle. And while he talks to the medical crew, we'll step aside for a moment. Here on the home of 
of Super Bowl 47. Chris Clark comes in for Franklin. At right tackle, they've got all new faces going back to the last week at center and on the right side, guard and tackle. A powerful run within a yard of the first. And again, Dan Copen, let's give a shout out to the former Patriot. Yeah, how about that? He's doing a good job that time inside. Gets his guy, Ron Grace, the pick, pushes him over there, and McGahee, veteran runner, reads blocks well. Boy, Dan Copen, good start to this game by him. Yeah, he's had two really big blocks on this drive. Second and one. we go right in the middle behind him again. And they're going to spot it enough for the first with McGahee. Well, run it up the middle real quick, but oh, you waited too long. But go. Here comes the big guy. 75 comes back in. As soon as they give up a run or two in the middle, Vince Wilford's coming in. Yeah, there's Wilford. He was out for a couple of snaps. With Ron Grace taking his place, but 74 is back in on the Denver side after missing two plays. Orlando Franklin will make pop it off earlier. That'll make it feel better for quarterback. Decker inside the 40 for five. You know, Peyton Manning, such a good underneath thrower. He's thrown so many passes short and over the middle in his career. The reason, well, he he's a good six foot five, six foot six. Holds the ball high, throws it high, and he just doesn't get many footballs tipped and able to find those lanes to make those downhill throws. Got Hillman back in. Second and five. They fake to Hillman. Look way down the field. Now if they go in the direction of Tammy and the pass a little too high. He was looking down the field for Thomas, and then it, it was too deep. Guys coming from the right side. Tammy going where they were to the going across the field from left to right and Peyton Manning's got what he wants he leans into the throw and it carries a little too far now it's a third and five once again these three receivers in a bunch Alfonso Denard, a rookie out of Nebraska, coming in on this series and knocking it away from Stokely. Yeah, Stokely just kind of goes in and fakes. He's going across short. Good job by Denard. It just took a little too long. Peyton Manning had to look in there so long, the defense finally reacts and knocks it down. Unable to match the Patriots. Touchdown for touchdown. And Colquitt comes back. The punt for the second time. Welker standing at the eight. Runs at the one. Beautifully covered up. That's Bolden. And that was Gronkowski who touched it first. 37 yard punt of perfection. Patriots will have the football at the one. CBS is sponsored by State Farm. Get to a better state with a discount double check. And by Chili's, the $20 dinner for two. Now with USDA Choice Sirloin Steak. Jim Nance, Bill Sims here, Foxborough, Massachusetts. Back closer to the two. Patriots will go shotgun. Brady standing in the end zone. Right back to Welker. He has it every time he wants it. That's eight receptions for Welker already. Ties the most he's ever had in a first half. Last two drives, Brady 11 out of 12. Down the field, a touchdown pass and a touchdown run by Vereen. No old school here. When you're back up, you know, bring the formations in. Make it tough on yourself. Spread it out. Tom Brady can see it. Easy first down throw. Second down and two. Welker now with nine catches this one for six yards as Tom Brady said before the season started why would we ever think about changing certain things in this offense when it's worked so well and he's right 
Underneath the center. 51's the mic. Sooner or later, once again, we'll try yeah. a fake. Go deep. Bolden. And look at that play by Kevin Vickerson. Slinging him down for a loss of four. Well, that's what they need. They need some inside presence. Oh, good job by Vickerson. He is lined up to the right of the center. Wendell, tough block, couldn't get there. Second and 14, and Brady goes to Fowles, who is unable to hold on. The Bronco of a year ago started 15 games at tight end last year for Coach John Fox. Well, that was a really good fake by Tom Brady. Had me looking to see who was blocking on the run. And Daniel Fells beats Joe Mays across the formation. It's going to be a, a catch of probably another seven or eight yards before he gets tackled. Big spot for this Broncos defense. Can they get Brady and company off the field? Third and 14. Jason after him. That's good. What has the first down? Chased down by Mays. But it picks up 25 on third and 14. Right here. Watch it. Joe Mays tries to go up in there. Oh, he's going to hit him. He misses. Tom Brady finds him working his way across the field. One on one against the linebacker. Tom. Oh, Slashes back to the inside and goes across the 40. Tom Brady to Woodhead last week. Tom Brady scrambled. Danny Woodhead broke his route. I thought it was one of the key plays in their win against Buffalo. Got him a touchdown. Well, that pass play to Woodhead was Brady's longest completion of the game so far. And it was a big one. And Bolden is about a yard shy. Well, I think they're finding out this Denver defense. Yeah, we can cover some of the guys, but can you cover them all? Again, wasting no time. Third down. Can get it again. It's Bolden. All the way to the 31 of Denver. And a little shout out here to Dion Branch on that side, helping free him for 24. Look at Dion. How about Dion Branch? They bring him in like a tight end. And he's so athletic, he's able to get between him. And the runner, and Bolden gets those extra yards. They're going to let it run down and manage the clock here. The two-minute warning. 14-7, and driving again. New England in front. The halftime report. James Brown, Dan Marino, Shannon Sharp, Boomer Esiason, Coach Bill Cower coming up. Scores on highlights. Rising halftime report coming out of the two-minute warning. First down for New England. Already with 18 first downs in this game. Ridley for only a yard. That's after back-to-back -back weeks with 33 first downs. I mean, those are yeah, it's staggering numbers. It's incredible. Their offense is first overall in the league, first in scoring. It's high in passing and running. Hard to do it all, but they're doing it. Second and eight. Picks it into the red zone with a 10-yard reception. Well, they just beat them. Play after play in the inside. Tough spot for Joe Mays. He's got to play the run. He's got to be a little honest. By the time he sees it's pass, it's too late. Gronkowski already catches it and turning it up. Watch how they manage the clock here. With 1.10 to go. They don't want to leave anything. As Ridley has five more. You know what I've learned about the Patriots, Jim, over the years? They don't worry about the clock as much as other teams do. They just keep pushing it forward. Second and five, and Ridley has a first down. Here comes the side judge, and he may mark it just a little shy. First down. It's amazing how quick they can call the play. We go again. To the two. Carrying Mays with him. Now we got a timeout. Timeout New England. And they put the finishing touches on a 98-yard drive. For the Patriots, the first time they had the football, they picked up one first down and then punted. 
but they have been unstoppable ever since. McDaniels and Belichick talk strategy. 26 seconds to go in the half. Bolden is the running back and the ball carrier. And they're going to shot. Patriots still have one timeout. Tackle back at the five. Bob Miller coming up with a, you said it, huge play. Just knifes inside. Actually goes down to the ground and underneath Logan Mankins. Well, Logan Mankins is blocking somebody else. But what a job by Bob Miller. A couple big plays in the run game by him today. And the oh. Patriots are not going to take any chances here. With a quick throw to the end zone, they brought out the field goal unit. And, of course, on top of it, well, it's fourth down anyway, Phil. But this, this really is not what they thought they were going to be coming up with after that last timeout. Oh, no, after this drive, I just didn't know if there was any way the Denver Broncos could stop them. So they're going to go in to halftime. The Broncos to go, wow, we, we got to feel good. Pretty big. We might just be down 10. 23 yards coming up. He went twice to Bolden. Miller makes the big tackle, forcing the field goal trial. Fourth down, and Gostowski drills it. And really, the way they were going down the field, you didn't expect that, did you? They come out of there with three. Yeah, it's like I said, mentally, it was a good moment for this Denver defense. Nobody knows the game like a quarterback. As Phil reminds me all the time. And that's why he's got his own show now on Mondays. Mondays, Wednesdays, Sundays. But you don't want to miss this on CBS Sports Network. 24-hour home of CBS Sports. You, Rich Gannon, Steve Berline. Dan Fouts with you tomorrow. Take a look at these quarterbacks we've been watching today. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about Brady Manny, that's for sure. And the, you know the thing about both of them, when you think about all their success, they're always one step ahead on the first to do things offensively. Peyton Manning was the first no huddle guy, but now Tom Brady, the Patriots, look, they're, they're taking it to a whole nother level. This, it's not a no huddle hurry up, it is a no huddle, well, I don't know the word for it, really fast, how's that? No, it's like a, whatever it is, it works. People call it track meets before, it's like just a up and down. Basketball game up and down the floor. Gronkowski falls on it to end the first half. 17-7 Patriot advantage at the intermission. Sterator says, hold on a minute. He's, he's going to put one second on the clock. Taking off the game clock. There will be one second remaining in the half. Denver's ball. And imagine Denver's going to do anything with it. In fact, they dropped Demarius Thomas back at the 20, so one snap to make it official. And now we've reached halftime. New England will be getting the second half kickoff. Verizon Halftime Report again coming up after this message and a word from your local station. And you're watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 47. Brady and the Patriots have run 41 of the last 59 plays in the game, and they will be receiving the football here in a moment. But here is the Droid Razor in play presented by Motorola. Brady handing it off to Shane Vereen for their second touchdown of the game. The first one was Brady to Welker in the opening quarter. Seems like the score should be more points than 17 to 7. But the ball never hit the ground with these quarterbacks, so the clock just keeps moving. 
How about the number of plays again by the Patriots? You said it, what, 41? Of the last 59. 59, and they get the ball here to start the second half. As Prater boots it toward McCourty. Hesitated a little bit. He may pay for it. Nearly gets it to the 20. So here we are starting the third quarter. Patriots coming out with their offense. Everything you thought it would be between these two, Brady and Manning. Uh, no, I think it's been faster than I expected. I thought both teams might go to the no huddle, but I didn't expect the Patriots to be at quite a hectic pace. What I'm waiting to see here in the second half is what will Denver do on the defensive side? How will they change? You know, you, you've got to put more people up there to stop the run, or you got to blitz, you got to be more aggressive. You've got to catch this New England team off, off guard. Keep them off balance somehow. Hey, go shooter, go shooter, go shooter. Hey, Lasso, Lasso. at the bottom. Lasso. And Welker in a slot. Welker with those nine first half catches. And Ridley has a four yard gain. Here's the first half summary. The numbers for the two quarterbacks, very good. In fact, Brady, 85%. Each with a touchdown toss. Ridley now is up to 74 yards on the ground in this game. He's already got a couple of 100-yard performances. Week one against Tennessee, and then last week at Buffalo. Second and six. Well, short pass over the middle. Wes Welker not expecting it, but I think the positive thing that time for the Broncos they had a few people around the football. Of course, last week at Buffalo, down 21 to 7 at one time. The biggest half, perhaps, in Patriot history. Outside of a game against Tennessee here in the snow back in 09, they had 45 second half points. Couple that with their first half here. It's a pretty strong 60 minute stretch. Third and six. Ducking. Dealing the pressure. Now there it is. It's Miller on his back in the sack and the three and outs. They got what they wanted. That was definitely a different look. Only three rushers. They brought in the extra defensive back, Jim Leonard, who really knows what he's doing now. So here we go. We got these three guys rushing. And look at the extra defenders now that we have underneath. And that stops all the inside routes. Tom Brady gets sacked. Yeah, Jim Leonard was in defensively yep. in that secondary. He knows how to read the quarterback yes, and direct does. the defense a little bit. Mesco. That's Leonard with the fair catch signal at the 30. 50 yard punt. Brady, he felt it. Ducked for a moment. It was Solder behind him. And then Miller found him. Manning and the Broncos coming up next. Fascinating to see how Miller circled around to get the sack. How about that? Play to the whistle. Good adjustment by Jack Del Rio. A different look for Tom Brady, and it worked in the first series. Comes up running. A nice piece of running it is. Gahey. In his 10th year out of Miami, and seems like he's better now than he was five years ago. Again, I'll tell you what, once again, Dan Copen gets the nice block. The seal allows McGahee to get those, uh, to get a good run for a first down. From the 42. And he's tackled by Wilson after just a short gain of two. These teams met twice. Late in the season, December out of Denver, of course here in January in the divisional playoffs. Manning said it did him no use. He did not watch either game tape. Yeah, it, it was, that's right. He went back and watched some old tapes of when he was at Indy. And again, he's still fighting until they blow the whistle for four yards. He went back and looked at the 2010 matchup. Colts, when he was in the game, of course, Colts against the Patriots, and, and Mike McCoy, his offensive coordinator, watched it too. Right, I think he learned this. Don't look for something. In other words, don't work all week and think, oh, the Patriots are going to bring something new. 
They are a defense that believes in being sound, trying to play their techniques. They're not about tricking you. They just want to out-hit you. Third and four. They try to get it on the ground, and they are stopped. And Patriot defense coming in and snuffing it out, holding them to a yard. Spikes and others in on Lance Ball. I'll, I'll tell you, you know, he, they're trying to do it quick, but the stand-up linebackers that time by the New England Patriots able to diagnosis, diagnose the play and adjust and get in there and make the tackle. They didn't have enough blockers for the front they were trying to run that play against. Walker back deep. Third most punt returns in NFL history without scoring a touchdown on a punt return. The record belongs to Phil McConaughey. Most returns without a touchdown. And we love Phil. We do. He can catch it with the best of us. You told him you were going to get him a pop in the game. <laughs> he just didn't know where it was coming from. Coming. That's right. And now he regrets it. Oh. Bell on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Fidelity Investments. Take control of your personal economy. And by the motion picture thriller Alex Cross. In theaters October 19th. A defensive battle has broken out here in the early stages of the second half. A 31-yard net punt. The touchback with the leg of Coquit. Sets up the Patriots at the 20. Down the field and over the head of Fells. He had Keith Brookings running with him. A long time NFL veteran who has not missed a game since 2001. Different look this time. It's the four down lineman doing a little game inside, playing pass, and trying to push the pocket fast. Ridley, second down and 10, and a beautiful run. Finally shoved out by Moore. Give Gronkowski credit for sealing that side. And that's 19 for Ridley, moving in on 100. Yeah, it is. If Daniel Fells kicks out a defender, and you said it right, Gronkowski seals the inside. And there is a wide open hole. Gronkowski, number 87. And Brady with a flag down in the secondary. Is sacked, but will it hold up? Brady got sacked on the previous series for the 12th consecutive game, the longest streak of his second longest streak of his career. Consecutive games with a sack. Defense, 12 men. Five yard penalty. We play. First down. Did they run off in time? Uh, not They're even not, close. Not even close. Two of them. Yeah, they only had 14, uh, 15, no, 14 that time on the field. But the Patriots didn't substitute, so you're not allowed the equal time. They kept the same 11 in there. That's the first Denver penalty. <laughs> Earlier one had been declined. Falls into the back of one of his teammates, Von Miller. He'll end that play after three maybe four well that's a big play and it really those three guys running off had nothing to do with the outcome the sack of Tom Brady second and two Bolden same side same result three yards this time good for a first but it got the penalty because of you they're gonna keep you on the field not allow you to substitute well, Brandon Lloyd got away with a hold that time on the outside on that run Read up. Read it. 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 Read the Read Three well, straight incompletions for Tom, who had only three in the first half. Yeah, we got we got a little different look. We got Elvis Dumerville. Look at that big number 92 playing in the middle. And on the other side, it's nothing quick. You see the extra defenders. Tom Brady looking for three Five short hit. routes. Three, and all three right. cover. Mabel, Mabel. Second and ten. Ridley. Stacked up. Gain of three. Joe Mays that time. Finally he goes 
a, a run up the middle where I can get off the blocks and make the tackle. Mays just glad to be back on the field. We talked about his one-game suspension, sitting at home last week and watching the broadcast with the family. Yeah, that's right. Well, he is, uh, I think he's a big part of this defense, Jim. Excellent linebacker, very physical, can stop the run. and can run sideline to sideline to make plays. Third and seven. Here we go, everybody. Ten, ten players standing up on defense. Fantastic. With a flag down. Might be a hold against New England. Holding. Offense number 62. Ten yard penalty. Replay. Third down. Ryan Wendell, the center. Well, what they're doing is showing some different looks. Right in the middle of the screen, you could see him. And that, uh, that definitely was a hold. Von Miller using his speed, very agile, can bend that body, and that's why he got the hold. But, you know, Jim, so far, two drives, some different looks by this Broncos defense, and, look, look, look. and it's slowing the Patriots offense down just a little bit. Miller was a little slow to get up after that last play. Third and 17. And they're going to get the first with a run on third and 17. Two huge conversions with Woodhead. One on a third and 14 in the first half by pass. This one by run on third and 17. Oh my gosh, they just knock everybody out of the screen. We're right back to him. For another good game. This one for seven. Somebody's got to alert to defense. High alert. You know with third and 17. Tom Brady under the center. The running back behind him. They've only thrown one pass today in that situation. Would head for a third straight time. And little Danny Woodhead is near the first. You had the Denver defense third and 17 outside pass rush. They just get knocked off the ball. And then there's really was nobody to block down the field. They send the chain gang on down first down. Huge play in this game. He wants the mic. Run. Hey, Gronk, watch the end. Hey, it's Allie. Run. It's Allie. Allie, no, Allie. Excuse me, 50 wants the mic. Hey, just Patriots lie in. Run, 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 run the run, football run. in this quarter for Allie, 60 go. yards. Now they got a completion to Rutger. Another 11. Blitz off the left side, Tom Brady sees it, throws it to Wes Welker before Raheem Moore can get there. Ten catches now for Welker. You've got to hit some of these guys at the line of scrimmage. Three releases, impossible to cover. Hunnel, 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 52 the mic. Hard to hit Wes Welker sometimes, he's always off the line. Going to the end zone, and in the direction of Lloyd. Sometimes this offense, Jim, goes so fast, they, they confuse themselves. Might have Tom been looking Brady. for Ridley. Yeah. yeah. But does the right thing, gets rid of the football, and doesn't take a negative play. Yeah, he looks immediately over in Ridley's direction. Second down and 10. Here's the running back. Jag, 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 Jag. Hey, lasso, lasso, 52 the mic. Orange, go, go. Might have got him to jump. Ridley, there is a flag. Knocked back two yards by Tracy Porter. Offside, defense, number 97. Five yard penalty, replay, second down. Well, you look at Tom Brady and his track record against the rest of the league. This is the only franchise that has a winning record against them all time, regular season, postseason. Denver 6-3, and three, although, of course, he beat them back December and in January. Season ago, Ridley. Ridley. 
Well, they just go at such a pace. It just, it, like we said, it disarms the defense. The big, strong guys get tired. Now they're not strong anymore. They, you know, they've just limited the pass rush because of the speed of this offense. Third and one. And that's a first. And Ridley has a 100-yard performance for the third time in five weeks. By the way, Vaughn Miller's been out the last four or five plays. I mentioned one time, a little slow to get up. Eighteen rushes, 101 yards. Mm. And first and goal. Off we go. Really comes in underneath and gets within one of the goal line. Well, we talked about this offense. Spread them out, throw the passes, let let Wes Welker do what he does. But this running game. Directed it over to the Denver side. Offside. Defense number 92. At the distance to the goal, we play second down. Doomerville lined up offside. Yeah, he just lines up offside. Oh, he, he jumps. Yep. But they're trying to run a, a play that Peyton Manning runs all the time. They got it. They're picking the inside defender. Wes Welker was uncovered outside. Interesting. Matthew Slater, we seldom see him on offense. He's lined up on a wing to the left. Number 18. Second to go to run behind Slater, and it's Ridley. I thought he was in, but they stop him short. He had Connolly lined up as a fullback, and now it's third and goal. Yeah, Connolly comes in at fullback, and he does a good job back there. They take the right guard, they move him back, they bring in the other guard, Thomas. Again, Connelly will stay in there at fullback. Slater on that wing to the left. Third and goal. Brady fires the lead, comes in over, and it's a touchdown. Well, how about that? If you didn't make it the first time, you made it the second. What a drive by the Patriots. This Bronco defense, they had what they wanted. Third and 17, and they let a running play get the first down. <laughs> it's just incredible, too, that Woodhead would be able to take it for the first on third and 17. A 16 play drive this time. Good job there by Mesco on the hold. The fourth scoring drive of the day by the Patriots of at least 12 plays, and Brady gets the touchdown. Again, look at the the number of plays on the yeah. drive. It's, just, it's a push down the field almost. It just got to give that Patriots offensive line a lot of credit. They are in shape to go at that pace. Matchup of the two highest scoring second half teams in the league. Brady, not sure he had it the first time. Second effort secured it. NFL on CBS is sponsored by KFC. Delivered fresh. Prepared fresh with world famous secret recipes. Come in today and taste why fresh is better. Broncos have been in some big deficit situations in the second half this year. Twice down 20. Mounting comeback defense is short. Manning is hit. Ball is out. Fallen on by Wilford. Hit by Nikovic. A strip sack. And a recovery by New England. The captain, Vince Wilford. Ninkovich was in there. In fact, there was a lot of pressure coming on Peyton from many directions. Look at Ninkovich. Well, it was the coverage down the field. Peyton Manning with the fake. When they make that draw fake to the running back, 
He's looking to go down the middle, and the coverage was all over the receivers. So he's looking for the second guy, and it takes too long. Boy, Rob Nikovich, strong enough to be a down, down lineman, a defensive end, but still nimble enough. He plays a lot of linebackers, drops back in coverage, hits receivers and tight ends, and then tries to cover them down the field. First down, fields the low snap. One that would draw a flag. Vereen was the target. Mays is going to be flagged for the interference. We I saw Vereen in practice on Friday, yeah. Phil, and he's got a great pair of hands. A tremendous catcher of the Pass football. Defense, number 51. Squat foul. Automatic. First down. Well, Tom Brady gets a little pressure, gets hit, goes down. But let's watch Joe Mays. Well, he puts his arm into him. But he really has the angle there. If he'd have done anything besides, I guess, not look look back. I, th I, th I thought it was a tough call. He never looked back. Yeah, he didn't look back, but still, he had the position running down the field. So it's a first and goal. From the three with Ridley returning. Ball start, offense, number 77. Saturday, the Home Depot SEC on CBS, number one in the nation, Alabama at Missouri. Keep the Tigers do in their first year in the SEC, hosting the number one team in the land. All get started college football today, next Saturday. Peyton shakes his head. He's fumbled going back to his last season, 2010, first time in 16 games. Toss, for the touchdown. Brandon Lloyd was over there helping out too. He had Solder galloping in front of him and Ridley with his 100-yard game, now a touchdown. Blocked by the tight end down, the tackle pulls out. There is nothing you can do to that. They are outflanked. And then you got big number 77. How about Nate Solder? How about him running out there? That's a good job just to get out of his way. pretty close if it's uh, in the end zone or not that will be reviewed upstairs Champ Bailey good job getting away from the block and looks like he's to me looks like he's crossed the goal line yeah, I think so too that was a good formation or a tough formation that the Broncos had nobody outside to defend against the, the sweep play will be reviewed take an extra close inspection as they of course always have to verify all touchdowns how about this kid Ridley though in his second year out of LSU a third round pick a year ago taking a round later than Vereen who had an earlier touchdown here's what they're gonna look at where's he down it looks like about right at, there at that point right there you would think there it is oh we slow it down that's a good job putting his hand on the ground nose is still across well, if it's not, they're going to mark it about one inch short. Stephen Ridley, again, I talk about this running back group for the Patriots. We talked to Coach Belichick about how they've done through the years the job of turning over positions. Yeah. And last year they made their big move by going Vereen round two, Ridley round three. And, of course, Bolden makes the team and big contributor this year as a uh, undrafted rookie out of Ole Miss. Yeah, a couple years ago they had what? All the, they had the oldest old guys, guys group ever. Yeah. They had Kevin Falk. They had Fred Taylor. They had Sammy Morris. Let's look at it one more time, Jim. Boy, Ridley is in the air for a good four yards. Well, you, you think it's that, that, that shot, if that's where he first touches the ground, so close. We talked to him down in uh, Tennessee a few weeks ago, and he was talking about how his his father, Leon, really helped get him into football. And his father, Leon, has a real close friend, a guy named Hugh Green. I said, you mean the guy to play football in the league? The yeah. star player at Pitt? He yeah. said, well, I, I heard he played yeah. played some, some football. Remember how great he was. Seventh overall pick by Tampa. And there's the full speed. Still looks like touchdown from here. After review, 
The ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. That play just illustrates Stephen Ridley too, Jim, as you talk about him. It's just there's no fooling around. He just sees it and he hits it full speed. And that's the way they've been taught up here. We've seen it for so many years. No matter who the running back is, no dancing around, get the tough yards. They'll score most of the time with the pass plays. Two touchdowns in 18 seconds on the game clock. Ninkovic with the strip sack and Ridley to the end zone. 31 to 7. Denver and New England, and it's been all Patriots here the second half. Feels like we've barely even seen the Broncos' offense on the field since mid-second quarter. You know why that is, don't you? It's because because it they haven't been there. Right? It's, been it's, it's really, I think the Broncos, this is an eye-opener for everybody today. Even us. Holden, we had a 103-yard return in the preseason. Where to go this time? Barely able to get it into the air. Just a 10-yard run back, and there's Slater, Pro Bowl special teamer a year ago. Aerial coverage, courtesy of the Glint Direct TV. Well, I think you know, didn't foresee the Patriots probably playing on both sides of the ball as well as they have so far today. But I think there was an air of confidence with the football team that they knew they were getting better. That there were spurts that were defensively they were playing well, but giving up some big plays. Tammy in the clear. And near a first. Tackled by Patrick Chung. And we get word up from the Denver sideline that Keith Brookings with a concussion suffered here in this quarter in his kind of return. That was good enough for a first. Reader, reader, reader. Just three yards. You know, to go back to the Patriots defense, the gym, I think the Bill Belichick always has built his defense around. Let's be solid. Stop the running game. We'll get opportunities against the pass. But they've been giving up some big pass plays this year. A lot of them. And I think that's the their biggest worry, of course. Jack Manning in trouble. Incomplete. Skipped in there on one bounce to Tam. You know, they talk about the Patriot defense. They've been forcing a lot of takeaways, but giving up some long touchdown throws. How about that? Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones blocked around the quarterback, reached out with his left hand, and held on. Third and seven. And Thomas, who had a huge first quarter. Able to pick up the first and another 20 yards. He's got a 100-yard game. I would say so far today, the Patriots defense has done what they wanted to. Stop the inside passing game and make him go out to the sidelines. That's his first catch since the first quarter. When he had 89 yards receiving in the opening quarter. And that was Decker over there. McCourty on him. Next week, regional action on CBS. We'll be there with the Jets hosting Indianapolis. Coming off a huge victory over Green Bay. Some will see New England against Seattle and other regional coverage. And, of course, it all starts with the NFL Today, JB and the crew. NFL Today presented by Southwest Airlines. We sent along our best again to Coach Pagano. The Colts with a spirited effort honoring him today with that victory. Bruce Arians stepping up, leading him. Dowling on the tackle of Joel Treason. Seven yards. You know, I'm going to go back to what I said. They want to, they're trying to force Denver to throw it outside. It's not because they're trying to test Peyton Manning's arm, because they just don't think, they think they can cover the route runners who line up. Demarius Thomas and Eric Decker on their routes down the field when they line up as wide receivers. Manning looking for Thomas. Thomas down the field with a beautiful catch and throw. Down to the 12-yard line. 
another big play. This one 45 yards to Thomas. Yeah, and right on cue as I say that, that is a good job reading the defense more to the outside. So Thomas goes inside, and he is big and fast. And the Patriots say his best route is when he runs when he runs straight down the field. Manning looking for him again. It's not there. So he goes underneath to McGahee. We'll have it first and goal at the one. Gain of 11. there. Patrick Chung and others plug in the hole. No gain. Yeah, that time the big guys inside on the defensive line, they won that battle. Vince Wilfork just clogged it up. Nowhere to go. Last word with Stokely. As they get set for second and goal. Touchdown. That's a beautiful catch by Eric Decker. Tight coverage on the outside. Peyton Manning gets underneath the center so he can get rid of the football a little quicker. He sees the overplay by Devin McCourty. Look, there's just nothing you can do. What an adjustment to the football. That's 90 yards in three and a half minutes. Hmm. down 20 to nothing at Atlanta they came back and if they could have gotten one more stop they might have won the game and their only other road game they were down 20 late against Houston and again very nearly pulled off an amazing comeback well that was talked a lot by this Patriots team today that's one of the reasons they their theme on both sides of the ball was what but got to play 60 minutes. 60 minutes we heard it from everyone we met with on Friday because two times you said it down 20 if they make a stop, the Denver Broncos on the defensive side, Peyton Manning is, I think, going to get the football back and win the game for them. So they know it's never over. Still a minute to go in the third quarter. Inside the NFL, J.B. and Chris and Phil will be there to break it down. Inside the NFL in primetime on Showtime. By the way, you got uh, your old teammate Lawrence Taylor coming in, plus comedian and NFL enthusiast Bill Burr. Well, Florence comes in. That'll just be another boring uh, day right <laughs> down there for for us. But if I was the New England Patriots, I know they're on high alert here because you've got to be ready. To, okay, if they could try an onside kick. You know, you look at the scoreboard. Against the defense, we're not ready, but the Patriots have extra guys up front. They're ready. They got an extra guy up front looking for an onside kick. Back in 2010 when the Colts and Peyton played here, Peyton trailed 31 to 14 in the fourth. Same score we have right now, and eventually got to within three, falling 31-28. Crater assures the touchback. Well, we've got Coach Fox, Coach Belichick, little Super Bowl moment. John Fox and Bill Belichick met down in Houston. Super Bowl 38, a Vinatieri winner, 32 to 29. Super Bowl 38, down in Houston, and the Lombardi Trophy. Went to the Pats. Inside of four months to go until we get down to the great city of New Orleans. First New England won a Super Bowl down in New Orleans back in 2001. First and ten. A little pass to Bolden, and he's met right away by Mays for no gain. Well, Joe Mays tell, telling us yesterday they've been working on uh, on defense, the defense going against the no huddle since the start of training camp. They found out there's a different speed to other teams no huddle. Vaughn Miller, after missing a significant number of plays on the last New England long drive is back out there. 
Pump fake and a long ball. Gronkowski and a flag. It's flag on Adams. Unless it's going the other way, it might be offensive. We were watching games earlier today, the 1 o'clock games. You said they don't call that often enough. They never call offensive pass interference. We might have one here. John Fox trying to decide what he wants to do. Take the penalty or go for third down. He's going to send them back. Pass interference, offense, number 87. 10-yard penalty. We play second down. Little market back at the 10. Make it second and 20. Michael Adams, little what a route that was by Gronkowski. He knocked him, slapped him upside the back of the head. And you got to remember now, Gronkowski's left arm weighs about 37 wow. pounds. Yeah. So when he hits you in the Red head, you wow. move. It's like getting hit by a massive tree limb. Size of your leg. Second and 20. It's what with Roberts in front. Good piece of tackling by Chris Harris. The whole convoy out there ready to escort Welker for major yardage, but yeah. Harris broke off of those blocks. Little different formation. They catch him in a blitz, and look at the guys in front blocking for Wes Welker. It's going to run out of time here on quarter number three. 31-14 New England. Back after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. a little matchup between the two and again you don't know how many times you're ever going to see them again in the same game one in 15 years 15th year for Manning 13th year for Brady 13th time they've met on third and think of all the third and longs they've converted today yeah you know I I, I like the three-man rush in this situation but nobody stays in front oh, Tom no. Brady steps up and the defense falls apart it's Coleman breaking through a little opening and another first down you may have seen that a moment ago this is now 31 first down. Not something you pay a lot of attention to normally, but that's the first time since the 1970 merger a team has had at least 30 first downs in three consecutive games. So they are really motoring behind Josh McDaniel's designed offense. But not on this play. You take McDaniels, he was here in 07 when they had the undefeated regular season. 08, Brady was injured in the first quarter of right. game number one. 09, McDaniels went on to Denver. So last year he came back as a quote-unquote consultant at the end of the season, and now he's back in the position for the first time really since the 2007, again, 16-0 regular season working with Brady. He didn't get rusty while he was gone for this New England offense, that's for sure. And it's different this time around, too. Second and 13. Brady is sacked for the second time. That's the second sack of the year for the rookie out of Cincinnati, Derek Wolf. Good coverage down the field gives Wolf number 95 that extra time gets off the blocker of the center Ryan Wendell and that's that's tough. That's a, you give the defensive pass coverage. You give them the credit. Tom Brady looking down the middle, nobody open. Third and 16. Not going to convert this time. Another sack. This time it's Vaughn Miller. You're seeing that name a lot today. We are. Number 58, Vaughn Miller. Coming from the outside against Sebastian Vollmer, Tom Brady steps up. Can he close? Second, second sack for Vaughn Miller, and that forces the punt. Let's go. He's got another flag down. Back in the area of the punter.
He ran into Mesco in the first quarter. That penalty was declined back then. Holding on the kicking team, number 43. That 10-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down, Denver. Timeout. Can Manning drive them quickly down the field again to get back into it? The Denver defense responded with sacks on back-to-back -back plays. We're back here at Gillette Stadium. Jim Nance with Phil Sims. 13 minutes to go. And Denver trying to put together another touchdown drive. That's Dreesen for nine. They drove 90 yards the last time they had it, the Broncos. For a touchdown. Did that in a little more than three minutes. Second and one. Okay, he waited for a little crease. Takes it for six and a first. After so many years of watching Peyton with the Colts and having guys like Harrison and Wayne, we wonder will he have somebody like that here to work with as McGahee shows some balance. Able to fall forward for another five. Will Thomas or Will Decker develop into that kind of dependable weapon? We're seeing a big day by Thomas today. I think that's what they're hoping for. But boy, Peyton Manning that time steps up in the pocket and takes a big hit from Chandler Jones. And time will tell, Jim, if he can find that receiver that become, becomes a true go-to guy. He's hit his last six passes. This is Hillman. What a stiff arm on Arrington, but Arrington able to stay with it, drag him down a yard shy. This is what they, both of these teams have done well. You know, when it's not open, they throw it short, and they ex everybody that catches the short passes, running backs included, they get a couple more yards, put the offense in a good situation. Third and one, it's Hillman cutting outside. Hillman trying to lean for that first. He got nothing at all. Fourth and one. Well, there's no doubt they're going to go for it here. Down 17 points. And they're going to bring McGahee, the big powerful back, onto the field. And I think this is the only decision you can make here if you're John Fox. You want to win the game? You go for it on fourth down. Looks like they're going to throw it, too. Just need a yard. McGahee drops the open pass. Would have had the first. No one within three yards of him. He's trying to catch the ball and turn it up the field. Watch McGahee's eyes. They leave before his hands touch the ball. Football back to New England. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Viagra. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 with S Pen. Note the new way. And by the new 2013 Ford F-150 with EcoBoost. Well, this would have kept the drive going. Well, that's how you get off the field. You need a break. Gilman took a run outside. That hurt him. And in the game, he... Trying to look for extra yards in a obvious fourth and one situation. And now New England under center. Woodyard. Trying to get the edge and Woodyard. Throws it down after a gain of three. You know, you sit here and you watch this game and you see New England's offense and their all the plays, everything you talk about, Jim. And when it comes down to it, it's, to me, the rushing yard. Look at the rushing yards for the New England Patriots. You think, oh, it's Tom Brady, Wes Welker. Yeah, it's been terrific, but it's the run game that's made a difference so far in this game. Well, they put up some numbers early in this season. Ridley has four more. Last week they had two rushers over 100 for the first time at New England since 1980. Don Calhoun and Vegas Ferguson. But they also had two receivers over 100 and a 300-yard passer. It's only the second time all of those things ever came together for a team in the history of the league. Yeah, well, you get 500, almost 600 yards, you're going to set a lot of records, but you're eighth in rushing, sixth in passing in the NFL. You're in the top ten in both categories. You're ripping it up. 
third and three. And Walker has the first down. Now, how many times, it, it always amazes me, I talk about this every time I do a Patriots game. Tom Brady throws the football hard, and it's not always perfect. But you see Wes Welker over the middle, outside, bending over, making these tough catches. And besides the Super Bowl, hate to even bring it up, besides that catch, you just don't see him drop the football. He's had 12 catches today for 96 yards. Last year's leading receiver in the league with 122 catches. 51! Blue 20! Blue! New set of downs. Look at that wiggle by Ridley, though, and he's disappointed that he got tripped up. Picks up another five. For those of you expecting to see 60 Minutes, you're watching the NFL on CBS, the Broncos and the Patriots, Jim Nance, along with Bill Sims, here for the call, with New England leading at 31 to 14. 60 Minutes will be seen in its entirety immediately after the game, except on the West Coast. You know, too, the other thing, this Denver defense, they do a lot of stuff. There's a takedown on Ridley by the Warriors. You know, Jim, they do a lot, and you worry about it. Time out. But today, against this hurry-up offense, hard to get to all those defenses. Third down coming up. Timeout called by early NFL headlines. The Colts stun the Packers. Big game by Andrew Luck, who will be taking on the Jets next week. The Falcons are undefeated with the win at Washington. 5-0, and, oh. and Victor Cruz did the salsa three times today. Three touchdown catches by Victor Cruz, Giants over the Browns. Third and five here, with outside of eight minutes to go. Gonna go back out, watch out, gonna throw it outside. And Roy almost caught it on the rebound, it could have been picked by Miller. Trying to watch, watch the receiver. Comes in, goes back out, and then he's going to go up the field and come inside. You're trying to confuse the defensive back. It worked against Champ Bailey, but the linebacker, Von Miller, in the throwing lane. Hey, they're going for it here on fourth down. Fourth and five. From the Denver 37. Now, I think I would have punted it without even hesitation. Brady ducks. Brady is dropped. The ball is out. The ball is still out. The shoulder falls on it. Doesn't matter. It's going back to Denver right at the spot there of the recovery at the 43. So it backfired. Eight minutes to go. Punt it. Make them have the long field. They need three scores to beat you. That was Woodyard who forced it. This still gives the Denver Broncos an opportunity to have the football three times and still win the game. Three timeouts, two-minute warning, short field. Denver has two timeouts, not three. Manning looking down the sideline for the long ball. And the pass incomplete, looking for Decker. I like the thought process. Try the quick score. They're thinking, okay, they're going to march it down the field. Maybe catch somebody not paying attention. But once again, the middle of the field covered by the New England Patriots. On the near side, McCourty on Thomas. Right back down the field again and knocked away. Went right back to Decker near the 10 yard line. Well, there's definitely two defenders out there. You can see Patrick Trump to the inside. Denard to the outside. Good job by Denard. Breaking the pass up. Seventh round pick out of Nebraska making some plays. Third and ten. Wide open. And a first down to Decker. Still have a half a quarter to go. This Denver team's been the best fourth quarter team in the league the first 
four weeks. Over to Thomas. Arrington doesn't let go. Picks up four yards. Well, Denver still has a chance here. They have really given up some big opportunities. The Thomas fumble, McGahee dropping the pass, giving up a third and 17 to a run. Second and six, stepping up, finding McGahee, who has it this time, down to the five-yard line, Willis McGahee. Good job by Peyton Manning, steps up inside, always try to keep somebody in front of the quarterback, no matter who it is. Vince Wilford driven right by him, and McGahee against Spikes, tough. 22 yards. Tough match. Redeeming himself quite a bit after that last drop into the end zone. Touchdown, Stokely. Brandon Stokely. They got what they wanted, the pretty quick score. That was a Tom Brady special there. Get near the goal line, fake it inside, throw it over the middle where everybody comes up to stop the run. Watch Stokely just go, oh, Kyle Ayrton looking at the run. Watch everybody, you can see he's looking inside, defender outside, nobody in the middle of the field. Stokely, Stokely and Manning looking up for a touchdown, going back to their Colts days for the 20th time ever. 10-point game with 6.43 to play. Boy, those last two touchdown drives. Look what, what Brady and the Patriots were doing earlier. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Subway Restaurants. Try the new Tuscan Chicken Melt today. And by one and one My Website, where creating a business website is easy. We're back with a little under seven minutes remaining. There is Stokely. Goes back so far, he caught a touchdown in that Ravens Super Bowl victory against the Giants back in Super Bowl 35. Here you go, onside kick, possibilities. Certainly lining up as if they are going to do yeah, it. Yeah, they're definitely going to do it. I would have kicked off. I like to play it safe. Raider Pucci just right over the top and picked up on one bounce by Gronkowski. See, I would have kicked off. I think you could have got him inside the 20 because he had 10 guys up and put the pressure on New England's offense to try to get a first down. They're probably going to throw one. You could have got an incomplete pass on third, stop the clock. Now, there's no pressure on their offense. They can run it three times. Nothing works or be very careful. Punt it and get this Denver offense backed up and make time a big problem for the Denver Broncos. Hey, we're going whiskey. Wait, Woody, wait! Do it the way out of toss. He's got four running behind Marcus Cannon. Each team coming in here at two and two on the season. Well, the Patriots, this is only their second home game. They lost to Arizona. Right. A shocker week two. Well, let's go back to the fourth down call by Bill Belichick. You know, you're playing Peyton Manning. You, you can really back him up, and time can be your your friend. Instead, giving that field position, Tom Brady gets sacks. It really got compounded. Well, they lost 20 yards on the on that play. Davis Ridley, first down. And a whole lot more. Gronkowski opened up that side of the field, picked up 20. Well, they, they really got him out flanked right away. Gronkowski gets it sealed, and then you have Cannon coming around, and there's just not enough guys. That time Von Miller has got to keep his outside arm free against Gronkowski so you can make the runner cut back inside. Kevin Vickerson. Well, slow to get up. Been in so many plays. This is what you were talking about earlier. They went for it on fourth down from the Denver 37, but 
Then because of the fumble, it set up Denver deep on the other side, and shortly thereafter, Stokely with the touchdown catch. Yeah, but you know what? It might all be just a moot point because that was a big first down running the football by the Patriots. And it's outside of five minutes, so this clock will start as soon as they blow the whistle. Inside of five minutes, go out of bounds, and it doesn't restart. I'm looking in that uh, New England huddle, and I see both Sebastian Vollmer and Logan Mankins out, and Marcus Cannon and Donald Thomas in. Well, it could be just getting fresh bodies in there to be physical. Reload! 51! Saw a shot of Mankins. He does have his leg, left leg wrapped. First down, New England. Denver 37. And the Broncos have recovered. Looks like Adams on the recovery. Yeah, it's Mike Adams on the recovery. I can see everybody reaching for the football. Big question is, Jim, is he down? Sure seemed to come out before. Here's a strip. Oh, there it is. It's coming loose just before he hits the ground. And that is a good job. That's what you do in situations like this. It was Vaughn Miller, by Von the Miller. way. What a day for Vaughn Miller. Just ripped it out of his arm. We're kind of seeing early for them to win, to have a chance. The defensive ends, either him or Elvis Dumerville, would need a great day. Von Miller's been borderline great. Don't know if it's going to be enough. But he's done it in every facet of this game. That's, it looks definitely a fumble. And a recovery at the 32. Ridley knows it doesn't matter if it's a 100-yard week. He's going to hear about that one. All week long coming up. And Manning racing down the field again. It's Tammy to the 50. Gain of 18. That was a good job. Being smart. Get out of bounds. Saved a few seconds. That time it was a blitz. So in New England trying to change it up. But this offense hard to blitz and get free and run at Peyton Manning. Manning is over 300 yards as he throws it out of bounds. Being chased by Ninkovich. Three straight 300-yard performances by Peyton. He's been pretty clean today. Really, I think only one time did he have somebody open. You go, wow, he missed it. That was early in the game when he missed a deep crosser. Otherwise, been very sharp. 29 out of 40. Looking for the flag, Tammy hit the turf. He had Chung behind him, but no flag. Could have been incidental tripping. Tammy coming across the field, and that's what it is. The feet get tangled up, no foul. Third and 10, as we move inside of five minutes. Pressure. Manning flips it. Thomas spot him short. If I was John Fox, I'd ask for a measurement real quick. Make sure it's just a few inches short. What a job by Peyton Manning fighting through the tackle and getting rid of him. Yeah, he fought off Wilford. They do not ask for us, the chain gang to come out. They do not ask for the spot. Throwing for it on fourth and a foot. Going for the long ball. Thomas has it on his knees. First down at the 13. How about that call? Yeah, it was a gutsy call. Nobody open underneath. And it's a really a terrific throw. I believe he underthrows it on purpose. He sees the defender is not looking. Pete Manning talked about that last night. He throws it. It's up to the receiver to make the adjustment. Good job by Thomas. That goes for 28. Thomas out, Willis in. 
Look into the end zone and over the head of Decker. This was 31 to 7, not that long ago. Ridley's fumble breathing life into the Broncos here, who are starting to specialize in these furious fourth quarter rallies. Although they never were able to close the deal on the comebacks against Atlanta and Houston. McGahee, the ball's out here. McGahee, who earlier dropped one, and now fumbles and turns it back over to New England. Jermaine Cunningham falls on the football. Well, I like the call here, going for the run. Up the middle, and who else? Nikovich for the second time forcing a fumble in this game. Just comes across, oh, he just knocks it out with that hand. It, it really is amazing when you watch the games now in the NFL, the defensive players go, they punch, they hit that football, and no matter how you carry it, look at Ridley, how relieved is he? Boy, did that say it all. 342 to go or what it could have been for the Denver cause. And again, it's bolded for only a yard. Remember, they did not have to score a touchdown on that drive. That's right. Timeout called by the Broncos. If I was bold, I'd put two arms around that football too. One timeout remaining for Denver. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and concerns over a new national security threat. Followed by new episodes of The Amazing Race, The Good Wife, and The Mentalist, only CBS. It just shows you a lot about this game, too, momentum. And once it kind of got away from the Patriots, the Broncos did take advantage of it. Their offense got rolling. And when you start guessing and reacting instead of attacking on the defensive side, there's just nothing you can do against talent, but quarterbacks who know how to run these no-huddle, hurry-up offenses are the, the two best in the NFL, no doubt about it. McGahee, McGahee, who has given them so much these last two years and at the start of this season, even today, will go partially drop and then a loss fumble. It's Bolden. Look at Bolden. That was going to be a loss. And he's within three of the first. Here was the fourth down play that would have gone for the first. And then as they were driving to get within one score, Ninkovich knocked it out of his hands. Timeout, by the way, called by Denver. Out of timeouts. and so reliable for them. Yeah, he has, Jim, and, and you know, I'm just looking at this situation right here. The Patriots, what do you do? Do you throw it or do you run it? Looks like they're going to throw it, no doubt. Five people spread out, only Tom Brady back. and time and caught for the first back to a diving welker there's and just not much you can do jim here just watch west welker up top he does it and if you look to the other side grunkowski is going up against look to your left there's grunkowski doing a little double move he's open too they have so many weapons to make those little uh routes inside whatever you want to call it jerk routes Short ends, that's what Welker ran. It's hard to cover them all underneath. Another first down. Picks 
up 11, and they'll take it down to the two-minute warning. Denver can't stop the clock. How about this running game, though? You take this running game they got going right now in New England, and you put that short passing game, all the plays they can uh, give you on third down, tough to get them off the field. It's a new Patriot team record with 35 first downs. And just look at what the quarterbacks did here today. Peyton with the three touchdown tosses and 345 yards. Brady and the Patriots so efficient. And we've got the two-minute warning. You're watching the NFL on CBS. You know, at the start, Bill, you talked about this, maybe the greatest quarterback rivalry ever. When you take quarterbacks in the top ten all-time, most touchdown passes, these two have met more than any other quarterbacks inside that top ten. Second most was Unitas and Tarkington. They met ten times. This was the 13th encounter. You could go with a Bradshaw and Staubach. Well, they met in the Super Bowls. We think of those games. But I don't think there's really anything close to this rivalry or competition, whatever you want to say, between Brady and Peyton Manning. They lived up to today. They're both, of course, going to the Hall of Fame. But the big thing is, Jim, they kind of... Um, transcended the game a little. Peyton Manning the first, what, 10, 11, 12 years ago to do the no huddle offense yep. all the time. And now to look at what quarterbacks do in this league which we thought was crazy 10 years ago what he was doing. Now we're, all teams are trying to emulate that so many years later. And again, you don't know if they'll ever meet again. You got a 15-year man, a 13-year man. They could, of course, meet in the postseason this year. That's very possible. Yeah, it is. Uh, or if they finish on the same line, in other words, they both win their divisions, they would meet again next year. But that's no certainty either that they'll both finish. Well, you know, you look at this game. Patriots win it, of course. It puts them at 3-2. and two. It didn't finish the way they want, so that's going to make them edgy for this week. And the Denver Broncos being 2-3, and three, you know, the sense of urgency, knowing that you can never fall too far behind in the NFL, uh, they'll be a team that'll be desperate for a win next week, too. And then again on a day where you have the two legendary, iconic quarterbacks who both played superbly. The Patriots rush for 251 yards. Talk about a difference maker. 31-21 final it's going to be. New England will travel to Seattle next week. That will be no easy task. The Seahawks winning today at Carolina. Denver will go to San Diego. Tough road game for both. Once again, Denver's going to go close. They've been close three times and he lost all three. And there are the brothers. Chris and Rob Gronkowski. on a playing field in the NFL for the first time ever together. 31-21, the Patriots explosive again. Coming up next, 60 Minutes, Amazing Race, Good Wife, The Mentalist. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long from Foxborough. You've been watching the NFL 